Today on Tricro Studios, we take a look at the Jackson JS22-7 DKA, so dinky arch top. This is the $200 7 string. So I'm going to play four sound samples from four different amps. That way you get a tiny bit of a difference um, in what sounds you might be able to get from this $200 guitar. And as well, stay tuned until the end or use the chapters down below. Um, if you are interested in purchasing, purchasing this guitar and you're looking for a little bit more information on it. Anyway, let's go ahead and listen to those sound samples. <laughs>
those are the four sound samples there. Hope you enjoyed them. Hope they helped you out. Now, I don't really like talking in my videos because I tend to ramble, so I'm going to try and do this as quick and accurately as I possibly can. So if you're looking to use this or buy this guitar and it's your first dip into the seven string market, um, or if it's even if it's your first guitar, you're going to have a few questions. I'm going to hopefully answer them right here. So first things first, the tuners. Um, they are uh, smaller than the regular ones. So here we go. These are the tuners. Hopefully I have a close up here. Here's the tuners that come with the JS22-7. Here's the tuners that come with an X series um, seven string. So this is thinner than this. So it's a little bit lighter material. Um, I would say it's about the same material, but it's not as heavy, not as thick. Do they do their job? Yes. You want to make sure that you're tugging on your strings whenever you're tuning. So always tune up to pitch, never tune down to pitch. If you tune down to pitch, tune lower than what you need, then tug on your strings, and then tune up. It resets it in the nut. Keep doing that until when you're bending, things don't go out of tune. They won't go out of tune. You'll probably get about an hour, and then you'll have to tune up again, but it's only minor stuff. The bridge itself... Uh, this one, compared to, this is another DKA um, JS22-7, it's an F FSR Fender Special run. Uh, this is a hip shot bridge and Spurzel tuners in it. So uh, the bridge that was on that one uh, wasn't as bumpy as this one, not quite sure, but that's really how I describe it. Um, changing the tuners and changing the bridge. Uh, will probably cost you about $200, so the same price as a guitar, but it'll make it feel like it's a seven, dollars $800 guitar. And it'll sound better acoustically, feel better, stay in tune better. So if you are looking to purchase this um, and mod it, this is a great modding platform. So you can use a hip shot bridge or a goto bridge. I highly recommend the hip shot bridge for the simple fact that you have a choice between um, the base plate being 0.125 millimeters, I think, or 0.175, again, it's millimeters or anything, I don't know. You want to choose the 175 version, uh, which is what I have on that one. Otherwise, your poles are going to be sitting up way too high, and it's going to feel unnatural. Uh, it's not a direct replacement bridge. Um, as far as I know, there's no direct replacement bridge right now. Don't be scared. It's super easy. It's actually, it was easier to um, change out the bridge on this than it was to install the tuners. And the tuners are the easy mounts. So you literally take the old tuners off, put the new tuners in. All you do is you take this off. There's a grounding wire on there. It's actually built right into the body. It's fine. Um, then you put the new bridge on, take the saddles off, line the holes up, and then with a drill, use a smaller drill bit drill pilot holes, and then hand tighten with a screwdriver. Very, very easy, then you just intonate. As long as the holes are lined up for the strings, everything's fine. The holes were not lined up with the uh, stock bridge that came on that. It was a little off for some reason, but now it's lined up perfectly. It's amazing. The tuners, if you're gonna get tuners, I highly recommend getting Spurzel uh, for the simple fact that they're really good. Um, and you can change the handedness. So basically you get seven in line tuners, uh, which with other brands you are screwed. You just have, you have to order the three by four and most of them come in four by three or in line. So you can't really change that with most other tuners. With these tuners, um, you can, you can just, it's, you take a screw out, move things around, put the new screw in. Very easy. Uh, and you can change the handedness. And you don't have to drill any holes in it, so you don't have to drill like pilot holes to fit things in. It's You just get the easy mount. Very easy. Uh, I ordered the Titan 7s for this. I actually ordered that two days ago and then bought this just because <clears throat> the pickups were basically the same price as this guitar. And I was like, you know what? I'm going back and getting another guitar. I'll probably get DiMarzio Ionizers for this one. Anyway, if you have any questions about this guitar that I might be able to answer, go ahead and shoot them down below. I'll see what I can do. Hopefully I didn't ramble here, and hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day.